हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 24 एंड 32 ऑफ द आईआईटी जैम 2020 मैथमेटिकल स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर 24 व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू दिस जॉइंट डेंसिटी फंक्शंस ऑफ दिस टू रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड यू योर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड दिस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स लेस देन वाई बाय 2 ओवर दिस डोमेन व्हाइल दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर 32 व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द सेक्शन बी एंड इट इज ऑफ द टू मार्क्स सो दैट्स यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दैट दिस इज द क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ द वन मार्क्स and this is for the two marks each so you may get a uh, three marks within a one minutes uh, solution tricks which is explained in this uh, video are there so how you can solve this uh, saddle point and how you can find this joint density function you just follow that tips which i have discussed in this presentation myself dr gar you can simply follow this link for finding the various previous video years videos are there now what is what is the concept behind this joint density function so you can see that Uh, the domain of the function is given to you as x is less than of the y and so on so wh wh whenever there is a function of the joint density function your first one is you have to draw the graph always so the graph of this line how you can draw that this is x is 0 x is y this is the line x is equal to y you can see about here this is the line of the x is equal to y now how you can how you can uh, Uh, which which one is there this is the portion about that now you have to draw x is y by 2 so since x is y here x y by 2 here so i can write this line as of x y by 2 over this domain now how, how you can find this probability you have to write this of f x y of d x of d y that's a very simple so now over this i can write this as of minus x e to the power minus y dx of dy or else you can also write as a dy dx that's depending upon you whatever you want so let's say i can write as a dy dx so in in this case you have to write the limits of the y so it means you have to take the vertical strip what is the value of the y at here is 2x from here and what is the max value is infinity so the limit is my 2x to infinity and what is the minimum value of the x at here is 0 and what is the max value of the x as infinity now how you can solve that this is the limit of the y so you can integrate over the y this is here upon minus 1 from 2x to infinity now whenever it's a infinity is a zero and whenever it's a 2x it's a minus so minus minus plus it's 2 e raised power here and this is there so what is that this is nothing but 2 e raised power minus 3x and when you again integrate them it will be my here So once it is a infinity, it's a zero. When it's a zero, it's a one. So the answer is two by three is the required answer. You can see which one is the right answer is here. You can see now this is the multiple choice questions are there. So it may have more than one options are true. So there is no need to solve them. How you can solve them? If you want to solve, you can see there is a you can try to solve the first derivative zero, second derivative zero, and then you can find its saddle point for here second derivatives, this, and here you can usually apply this are but there is no need to solve like this way you have to change the options what is the saddle points are there it means what is the saddle point condition is that the second derivative must be the non zero this value must be the non zero with respect to the variable x so you can see what is the value what is the second derivative of this with respect to x so you can see here this value uh, sorry uh, if it is uh, if it is a zero then it is a not saddle point Okay, but here we need a saddle point, so it means this value must be the zero. So which condition is satisfied corresponding to them? You can see this value will zero only when y is equal to two. So which one is there? This is y two. So this option cancel out, this cancel out. So these two options are correct answers. So the right answer of this question number thirty two is my C and D is the right answer. So that's a simple way. There is no need to solve like this way. You have to follow the concept behind that of the saddle point. How you can remember this? apart from that there are the various other comments are there you can simply uh, follow my this previous video that is a mcq on the convex and concave functions also called as the saddle point maximum and minima are there where you can find the 21 questions which have to solve by this manner within a one minute you can learn all these videos are there till then you can simply follow this link or you can find some other videos related to these questions of the iit jam you can follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students